guys, it's me Olympic Girl and I'm sorry I haven't uploaded in a while. Um, today is going to be a story time which is going to be quite hard because if you haven't seen in previous videos I have a dog or I had a dog called Ziggy and today is the story about how he died. Um, so this is quite a sad video for me to film so it might take a while for me to get it out but um, for all of my friends and family thank you so much for the support and yeah make sure you give this video a big thumbs up if you I would say like it but if you enjoyed the story enjoy that's the, oh, I don't know just subscribe and like the video to show support for me and yeah so without further ado let's begin so it was Thursday the 16th of November 2017 so I woke up everything's normal I walk him in the morning and I go to school and then I had hockey after school so I went to that and then when I got home my mum was at the door she was crying and she was like I need to tell you something so I came and sat down and then she told me Ziggy went missing this morning at this point I was already in tears I ran outside and I was like I was shouting Ziggy come here crying my eyes out and oh my god it was the worst day ever and then so I was screaming Ziggy come here and then my mum like I would say shouted at me but like it wasn't shouting as in oh I'm being naughty as in like come here and then for some reason I just had an in instinct is that the word an instinct that like he died so then I ran inside I was like is he dead that's what I said like crying my eyes out and then my mum went like this and then she sat me down and this is the actual story how we think we will never actually know the truth but this is how or about 90% sure this is how it happened so as my dad does every day he let the dog out about 10 o'clock in the morning on Thursday now my dad starts work at like 2 on Thursdays and Fridays so he obviously had the morning off so basically he let the dog out as normal went inside did some stuff came back out about 10 15 minutes later to find Ziggy wasn't in the garden so my dad called my mum and then they both put on Facebook missing dog have you seen him then my dad was out searching for about like two hours he told me um, and then so they couldn't find him anywhere so my dad came back home had another look around the garden to find Ziggy in the pond like dead I'm trying not to cry so Ziggy was dead in the pond and his nose was bleeding and yeah So then my dad got him out of the pond. I'm I'm not really sure, but I might go ask him now. But I think his head um, was bleeding too. Like there was he like banged it on something and it was bleeding too, and that's what like caused it. So my dad got him out, and he obviously when he went in the garden. He obviously looked around the garden the first time he went out there. But he obviously didn't, like, he's not going to be like, oh, what if he's dead in the pond? Because you wouldn't just think that if you're going outside, you'll literally just look on the grass, wouldn't you? So we think he was already there when my dad went outside to look for him. And he was, just, like, camouflaged. He was actually in the pond. See, our pond is, like, this deep. And he absolutely loved water Ziggy. He could swim and everything. So this is how we think it actually happened. So we think he was like chasing a frog, a bird, or anything he could have been chasing. Because Ziggy was one of those dogs who loved chasing things and attempting to kill them but never actually got to them. So we have a rockery section, which if you don't know what that is, it's basically 
so here's our grass and then we have like a little a bridge if that makes sense a bridge not a bridge like just a higher level which has a wall and then like dirt and then we've recently put a pond in there over here a wildlife pond so and then we've put rocks around it and that's like a rockery so we think he was chasing up there and then he hit his head on a rock probably got knocked out or even that could have killed him and he just suddenly like landed in the pond but we think he maybe got knocked out and then his head and his my dad said that his head and his front paws were like in the pond and his back legs were like upwards like that like so like we think then he fell in the pond and then obviously he couldn't get out because he was knocked out and then he drowned so after this um, my, my dad wanted to come get me he called my mum she came home from work early he didn't go to work that day and then my brother came home from school like a lot earlier than me because I had hockey so he was out and at football because he wanted to get his mind off like that his dogs just died so when I came home so I went outside my mum I told you this part so I couldn't believe it sorry I played with my hair a lot guys and then my mum told me I was crying I like made myself so ill that night that I was talking so like a lot I don't make sense I was talking like a lot about it and like crying all the time like he was my dog I was the last person that took him for a walk I paid £50 for him like overall he was £500 but like with my money I paid 50 of that £500 I absolutely loved him I took him to the park every day every morning and when my brother didn't want to I would take him out and oh I miss him so much anyway so it was a Thursday so I, I got to decide where we're going to put the ashes that night so then the next day I didn't want to go to school because I was still crying all of Friday so my mum didn't let me my mum my mum my mum uh, said I didn't have to go to school so me and my brother stayed at home and then oh and I forgot to say the, at the night my dad put him in the shed like with blankets and like his ball and and then I got to see him and I didn't really see him properly because it was dark when my dad showed me. But I didn't touch him or anything. So anyway, the next day we took him to the vets because the vets then take the dogs to like a cremation centre. Which you don't have to, you can like bury your dog. But we decided to cremate Ziggy because I wanted him with me all the time. Um... And we got a single cremation because if you got like an all inclusive, inclusive, like, like everyone's dogs that have died that time, when you put them in the thing, you'll only get a little bit of your dogs and then you have like other dogs ashes, which you don't really want. So we paid £162 for a single cremation. So every bit of those ashes in there were his own. And we also put a ball and I put a treat in there too because he loved his treats and he was such a fat dog. He wasn't fat, like, he was just genuinely big. I'll, like, include loads of photos as well. I'll include loads of different photos of him in here as well. In here as well, that's my brother next door. Um... He's singing to himself. <laughs> so anyway, I was crying. And then when we got the ashes back, I'll go get them right now. Also, I went through the actual ashes. But we're going to sprinkle them at a beach that he absolutely loved going to. So let me go get them. So these are his ashes. Like, they're in a sprinkled thing. And then on top it just says Ziggy and then his last name. I'm just not going to show. And then, so my dog 
is in here all safe and I also got a necklace which I'm I wear it every day but today's been really lazy and I haven't put it on and I don't know where it's gone which is not good so I'll get back to you guys when I found the necklace which will have his ashes in very soon so I've literally been searching for the necklace for an hour because and it turns out my brother had it so I got mad at him and it's just this I'll show you better the actual thing broke so we have it looks a bit weird how this is silver and this is gold but it doesn't really matter so basically it's this thing and then you unclip it like this and then you put the ashes in there they're not in there yet but we're going to put them in there very soon so I'll show you like this is what the actual thing looks like so then you literally just take it get this part and then you just screw it back on it and then when we put the ashes in there you um we're gonna put like super glue like round here so it cannot come out because that wouldn't be very good oh and this is my slime it's quite kind of cool thank you my husband was there thank you all for watching this video i hope you took it to well yeah. i hope you took it well and i would say i hope you enjoyed it but i'd rather have not filmed this video and like him not die if that makes sense do you know what I mean? Probably not. But thank you all so much for watching this video. If you're still here, comment down below. Hashtag rip Ziggy, we love you. If you're still here. And then I'll know if you're still here. If you actually took time in watching my face. Which I know can be very boring. But I'm just going to end this because I'm rambling now. Bye, new video every Sunday at 7. Peace. Mwah. Um, next week, guys, I'm going to be uploading a montage of photos and videos of Ziggy. So go check them out. I did say in this video I'll show you some photos. And I will, like, put one, like, after this little scene. Just to show you what he looked like and stuff. But for now, see you guys next week. Bye.